Alex, 56 degrees, gray skies and drizzle here in Burbank, but it's all sunny in Adam Schiff's world. His people believe he's on a long, successful glide path towards the Senate office in November. But with a high-profile, well-liked celebrity athlete as his opponent, nothing is guaranteed. From the leafy Burbank suburb, which has been Adam Schiff's home base for decades. That Schiff finished number one is fine with me because I'm um, 99% chance of victory in November. To the Democratic Party headquarters in Sacramento, to his potential colleagues in the U.S. Senate, the thinking is the November election is Schiff's to lose. And now? I know it's early, but what would be the strategy going forward? Betty Yee is the vice chair of the California Democratic Party. Well, the strategy going forward is that we don't stop organizing in terms of turning out the vote. Um, I, Congressman Schiff really has, um, I would say, um, the advantage going into November. We want to keep that momentum up. You helped us build the biggest grassroots campaign for Senate in California history, and I cannot thank you enough. An advantage Schiff did not get to expand upon last night. His speech to supporters in Hollywood drowned out by pro-Gaza protesters. As for his rival, Republican rookie Steve Garvey, at his primary night party in Palm Desert. Welcome to the California comeback. He talked about a California comeback, but that has to continue to build and expand for him to have a chance at winning in November. I think Garvey has a very small chance. I, I wouldn't rule him out, but I don't think... USC political science professor I mean, Christian look Gross, looking at the breakdown of California's registered voters, explains why Garvey would be a long shot to win. For Garvey to win, he has to win Republicans, independents, and has to get some Democrats to switch to his side, or he has to mobilize Republicans at such a high level that we haven't seen in a decade or more in California politics. And that's unlikely in, in your view? I think it's pretty unlikely. Of course, we did elect the uh, celebrity athlete Arnold Schwarzenegger twice back in 2003, 2006. And Alex, I'm sure you know the last time that California elected a Republican senator way back in 1988, and that was... Are you going to say it? You say it. Oh. <laughs> Who was Was that Alan Cranston? Is that right? That was Pete Wilson. Pete Wilson. Oh, my God. Alan Cranston. Yeah. Right. Pete Wilson in 1988, who, of course, would go on to become the governor of California after that. I mean, how did I miss that? I'm so... Steve, thank you so much.